Hi, I'm Jack Shelley and this is the third episode of The Allotment Project. Now, I haven't been down the allotment for a little while, so you have to excuse the mess. It is still a work in progress. However, I have managed to clear a space at the back where I want to plant my raspberry canes. And that's what I'm going to be doing in today's episode. So I'm going to be planting my raspberry canes here at the back of the plot. This is where the plot gets the most sun, which is what the raspberries need in order to produce fruit properly. Now, I'm going to be planting a total of 10 canes along this back portion of the plot here, which is ample to start with, and I've got two different types, a summer variety and an autumn variety. Now, the summer variety that I've got, which you might be able to see here, is called Glen Clover, and it's a heavy cropping summer variety. It does need support, which is why I've got it on these canes, as do the autumn ones. The autumn variety I've got is called Autumn Bliss. Again, it's a heavy, reliable cropping raspberry um, and I'm going to be planting them both together so I get a nice succession of crops. So I get the summer then followed by the autumn which starts in September, August with the summer fruiting around June, July time. So I'm going to get started on planting those now. So the first raspberries that I'm going to be planting on this left hand side of the fruit frame is the Autumn Bliss variety. Now as you can see the canes are fairly strong, they've got these shoots, they do flower and fruit on the same shoots from the same year. So even if this is a first year cane you're still going to get fruit which is fantastic. And they need to be planted in a nice sunny position as I said this is the best bit of the plot to be planting them into because it gets the most sun at the back. And also they like it nice and well draining, they don't like to have their roots sat in wet sodden soil. This is perfect, it's nice and free draining, it's quite dry now, although I will give them a water in. So when it comes to planting in your raspberry cane, as you can see, they've got a fairly large root system, which does all need to be buried. So I'm going to be planting mine just there by the cane, and then digging a trench to allow the roots to grow that way. When you dig out the area, it's always advised to put in some organic compost, or just some ordinary multi-purpose compost, depending on what you need to use. And that's all there is to it really, so I'm going to plant this one in now. The roots that now run along here, below the surface of the soil, are now going to become new raspberry canes and are going to grow up and form a dense crop of raspberries later on in the season and years to come. So it's a really good idea to keep as many of the roots as possible and to make sure that they're nice spaced out below the surface of the soil. It's going to greatly help increase your crop. So on this side, the right hand side of the raspberry plot at the back of my allotment, I'm going to be planting the summer raspberry canes. These are Glen Clover, um, which are a reliable heavy cropping summer variety. Now, also with these summer ones, when you plant them, they are going to have to be supported, which is again why they're on this frame. Like that. These don't have a great deal of root on them at the moment, which is fine, so they can just sit in a hole about this size. Put in your compost or whatever growing medium you like. Sit your cane into the soil, put a little bit more compost around it and then backfill with the stuff you dug out originally, just like that. And what that will do, like the Autumn Bliss ones, is that will start shooting up new growth from the base, from the roots, not necessarily this old growth from the top. Now once you've planted your raspberries, it's always advised to give them a really, really good soaking in. That helps them develop a nice root system and get established quickly. So I've just got a can of water here and literally all you've got to do Give them a nice soaking in, like that. And that's it for this week's allotment project video. I've shown you how simple, quick and easy it is to plant your own raspberries and start producing your own soft cane fruit. I can't wait to start tasting some of my own fruits later in the summer with the autumn varieties and hopefully my summer ones next year too. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Jack Shelley, like my page at Jack Shelley Gardener on Facebook and I'll see you next time for some more allotment project.